good finish. Well done. Well done. So I got all my stuff ready last night and laid it all out just to kind of keep my mind clear. And here we go. Got my running trainers, my cycling gear, uh, shoes, cycling cap, helmet, after clothes. So I don't really want to be walking around in light for the rest of the day. We've got my energy stuff, which I wrote out a little schedule for as well, which roughly gives me about 80 grams of carbs a, an hour. Uh, sunglasses, a mask, heart rate belt, pump, got my bike computer, after race snacks. Hey, few stuff. Make sure my eyes don't flare up. Spare the tube, inner tube, tools, all that jazz. GoPro, try and get some footage. Massage going, good, why not? GoPro head and chest strap, running bum bag, and three bottles. And of course, mat. So, I'm gonna fill up my water bottles, pack it away, and uh, get ready to go. My dad's picking me up in 10 minutes, so I better get moving. set up now ready for today's Kent Giraffalon. Feeling good, feeling ready. It's going to be a 10k run which is two laps of the running course then into a 40k cycle which is going to be two laps of the cycle course followed by a 5k to finish up. Done a little warm up there um, just to get the hips moving, hips are feeling a bit tight. I haven't done any training since Thursday so but that was a 10k relatively easy run so should be feeling quite good today. Main thing is I just got to let the nerves and excitement essentially get to me and just blow my load too early. So, Dad, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, nervous. Uh, first race in about a year and a half now. Uh, I'm gonna warm up in about uh, 10 minutes before the race, uh, just run up and down a little bit, um, do strides, that sort of thing. And that essentially is my little warm up, just to get the heart rate up and bring it back down again. Mm. Uh, and then off we go. Nice, so this is a bit of a race between seasoned and experience versus youth. So I'm unsure of who's going to win at this race, whether it's me or my dad. Um, he's got experience of triathlons, duathlons and stuff like that. I've done one sprint uh, triathlon, which didn't do too badly, in, but I didn't win. So for this, it's going to be a basic, it's going to be a game of pacing and not going out too hard at the start. I think I'm gonna win. I think you are too. Okay, says that. So anyway, let's get into it. <laughs>
that second lap in. Feeling all right. Heart rate 180, so not great, but I'm comfortable. And it's high heart rate. Dad, pretending he's suffering, waiting for the overtake. But it's good. Have a gin. 520 pace in this. There was no mention of off-roading. To the 5k that 40k bike Whew. this runs a bit harder than i thought feet are in pieces uh, yeah that 40k took about an hour and 10 hour and 15 faffed around in transition for about three minutes i now understand why people have easy slip on trainers rather than laces and my hamstrings are now starting to cramp going up this hill all right, head down, time to focus. Now that was good fun. Two hours 29. I'm happy with that, just under two and a half hours for the 10k, um, the 40k, and the 5k. The 5k ended up having to walk a tiny bit, which was up the steep hill. My hamstring was just absolutely cramping and uh, just got down another gel and it managed to ease off but really happy now just waiting for my dad and uh, cheer him over the finish line it's really nice really nice to uh, compete with my dad doing the first 10k together was great and uh, obviously with the bike i probably went a little bit too hard but overall you live and you learn i'm going to review the data see where i can improve and uh, yeah so now just wait for my dad to recover and uh, time to refeed. Well done. So it's a couple of days now post duathlon and I've had a chance to really take in the day and how I performed and where I could improve. And for me, it was a great day. Really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed competing alongside my dad. Started out the race together in the 10K and then obviously with the bike, because it's a non-draft event anyway, you couldn't really be near anyone. So, and I was just off on my own anyway. So things that I've taken away from that event, my nutrition, 
I thought I'd be able to eat a bit more solid food while on the race, but because the intensity was probably a bit higher than normal for me, especially like on the bike and stuff where I'm actually pushing, so I should be able to have a bit more solid food then. Also understanding the terrain that you're gonna be running on. I didn't realize it was gonna be off-road, uh, the run, so poor preparation on my part, probably not necessarily the best trainers. I'm not gonna blame the trainers because I just don't do off-road running. So, but maybe they weren't the best trainers. I have some on-running trainers, which might have been a bit better there, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but it was a really, really fun run because in a way being, off-road it takes your mind off the monotony of just a, a road run so it definitely gave me the bug to compete again so i put myself in for a sprint triathlon in a couple of weeks time 21st of may i think it is a sunday in hertfordshire so not too far away about a half hour away uh doing that again with my dad even though i beat him on the triathlon now the sprint triathlon will be more where he beats me there just because i, I can't really swim so 750 meters when you can't really swim probably not ideal but um, I'm still swimming twice a week at the moment just to try and get it down but it's not really long enough to really put in a good effort I'd say on the swim but I hope I'll try and make it up on the bike and the run. It's really nice to have this like friendly competition between my dad and myself just because it's me getting into his world of endurance uh, sports and you know last time I competed with him was basically 2010 and then we did a sprint triathlon probably about just before COVID like the about September-ish, I think, around then. And then, um, so yeah, then we did this giraffe so really, really good fun. But thanks a lot for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like and be on the lookout for more training videos, getting ready for the half iron, man. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.